Runner, Mayor Makeup says, sorry, Roger, we seem to do that every time. Uh, welcome back to Willow Run. an exciting time here, yeah. and we're here with Colonel Ed Mickenbeyer this afternoon at Air Michigan 92 at Willow Run Airport. And we wanted to let you know that visitors at the Willow Run Airport are often surprised to discover a very unique all-volunteer museum called the Yankee Air Force. And Gary Basner was there recently, and he's got this to say about it. It's one of the best-kept secrets of Willow Run. Located in the northeast corner of the airport, the Yankee Air Force Museum, housed in this former World War II B-24 hangar, displays an extensive collection of historic aircraft from the World Wars, Korea, and Vietnam. We asked museum volunteer Ralph Gilpin to give us some highlights. Behind me is the uh, Boeing B-52D model. Vietnam veteran was based in uh, both Guam and Thailand during the Vietnam War and made uh, quite a number of missions over the uh, Vietnam battle zone. It uh, was what was called an iron bomber, meaning it carried uh, standard high explosive bombs. It was not an atomic or nuclear bomber. And uh, it's painted black, as you can see, because the uh, idea was to shield it from uh, searchlights around Hanoi, which was heavily defended at that time. When the plane is fully loaded with fuel, the wing noticeably bends downward. And that large tank you see on the end uh, is not a bomb like some people might think. It's a fuel tank. And fully loaded with uh, jet fuel, the uh, tips would drag on the ground unless those small wheel you're looking at uh, keeps it up. Standing uh, next to me here is a um, F-101 interceptor. It's a 101B model. The uh, perfected uh, pilot ejection seats on this aircraft housed in that bulge is a movie camera and the uh, purpose was to uh, photograph the uh, in slow motion the ejection seat as it shot out of the airplane many of us here at uh, yankee air force have particular projects that we work on and this one happens to be mine it's an um, rf-84k model r for reconnaissance f for fighter and k is just the sequence typing it was a photo reconnaissance plane uh, cameras would be in these um, holes you see in the nose and windows would eventually be uh, put over there. The unique thing about this particular airplane is you notice the tail droops down. That's because this K model was designed to be hung in the bomb bay of a six-engine B-36 bomber. Ralph pointed out that airplanes aren't the only things that fly at Willow Run. A lot of these guys make their home in some of the display planes. The Air Force Museum is that it's located right next to the field. You never know what may go by. Inside the museum hangar is a fascinating look at past wars, most notably World War II. And occasionally you'll find items that are somewhat of a mystery. Any input from visitors is greatly appreciated. The museum also has hundreds of photos of the Willow Run World War II B-24 bomber plant days from 1941 to 1944 find rare pictures of celebrities who visited the plant, including Mary Martin, John Payne, Gloria Swanson, Walter Pidgeon, and Jeanette McDonald. The Yankee Air Force Museum is a fascinating look back in time, well worth the trip. It's open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 4, and Sundays from noon to 4. Air Force Museum, just part of the history here at Willow Run Airport. We'll be back with more history for Michigan Air Show 92 right after this.